Hey guys, what's up? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here And if you are new here, you should definitely subscribe. So for today's video I am back with yet another perfume unboxing, but today is a very special perfume unboxing. Today we are gonna be unboxing the brand new God is a Woman perfume by Ariana Grande. I have it right here ah, in this bag, but we will get to that in just a second. I just have to quickly give a huge shout out to the Ulta employee that helped me get this today. On my way out, I had said, oh, you know, I was secretly looking for the Ariana Grande perfume. She was like, we have one out back if you want it. And so I was like, yes, please. So she went and snuck me this one from the back. Technically they don't come out in stores until tomorrow, August 1st. By the time you guys are watching this, it's probably available in stores and online. I believe it's US only. So huge shout out to that Ulta employee. Otherwise I definitely would not have this today. Guys, this packaging, like, are we serious right now? Oh my God. I just have to first let you guys see this packaging. It is so gorgeous. It has a picture of Ariana in just this field of flowers and grass, and it's so beautiful and ethereal. And then it wraps around to the side and you can see her beautiful lavender dress. Oh my God. I just love this packaging so much. I think it's so elegant and so simple, but also like it's not even like it's that simple. It actually is kind of a lot. Then on the side it has some information about the perfume and it says it is 91% naturally derived. It has clean ingredients. It is 100% vegan, 100% cruelty free. And this product, like the actual bottle is made from sustainable, reusable materials. So that's really, really awesome. And of course the carton is recyclable as well. So not only is this perfume made very clean. Ariana's also donating $5 from every purchase to clean up the oceans. And I think that that is so cute and so amazing, especially with the whole God is a woman theme. It's definitely like paying homage to our planet's natural beauty, of course. And I feel like that's also very apparent in what she's doing with donating money for a really good cause. So that is awesome. It made me feel much less hesitation. Not that I had any when I was buying this perfume. It definitely justified my purchase. Okay, moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to open this bad boy up and see what she's all about. I can't even believe how beautiful this packaging is. And the box feels good. It doesn't feel like her other perfumes where it was very shiny. I don't know, this is just so simple and you can definitely tell it feels like it's a more recyclable material which I really do like. So we're gonna open her up. Oh my gosh. Whew, I need some water. Look at this perfume. I haven't opened it up yet. I'm about to open it up and see what it smells like, but the packaging is just so gorgeous. It's even more gorgeous in person, I swear. Okay, that's good enough. So inside on these little flaps here, it does have a little message and it says, we are committed to making our packaging friendlier for the planet by using sustainable materials and responsibly sourced ingredients. You will continue to see exciting changes over time across all of our fragrances. Thank you for taking this journey with us. That is so sweet. I love that. So I wonder if that means that Ari is gonna be coming out with like revamped versions of her previous perfumes with more sustainable packaging. We shall see. All right, you guys, moment of truth. Are we ready? Ah, I can see the bottle. It's huge. Holy crap. It's so pretty. Mine has a, a little stain on it though. My OCD noticed that right off the bat. There's a little stain. So we'll just look at the other side. Oh, there's more stains over there. <laughs> but this is the packaging. It is so cute and the bottle even comes out, which I've been totally loving that vibe of hers lately. Ever since she came out with Cloud, the bottle comes out of some sort of like detachable thing. Let me, let me just get all the perfumes out. Ever since she switched from her original packaging, this is Ari by Ariana Grande. This is her first perfume. After this, her perfumes kind of stuck with this signature shape until she got to Queen Cloud, my favorite perfume. I love this thing. Where she started incorporating the extra piece where the bottle kind of like sits in some sort of extra piece. For this, it was the cloud. For Rem, it was the crystals. It kind of sits in this crystal piece. And now for the God is a Woman perfume, she has this sort of like minimalistic packaging, which I really love. Honestly, when I first saw this bottle and especially seeing it in person, it really gives me like Kim Kardashian vibes where she has the very neutral, minimalistic, 
packaging. I really do love it and I love how she also incorporated her favorite, you know, lavender color by giving the glass bottle that hue of purple. I really am obsessed with the packaging. I simply cannot wait to smell it any longer. So we are gonna smell it. Are we ready? I definitely get floral, but it's not like overwhelmingly floral. I honestly smell a little bit of cloud. I feel like this perfume is like cloud, but an adult version, if that's even possible. I just have to say, out of all of Ariana's perfumes, I definitely feel like this one is the most adult, like the most sophisticated smelling. This fragrance is in the fruity musk category. Its top notes are ambrette and juicy pear. I don't know what ambrette is, but it has my name in it. So I love that. The middle is Oris Turkish Rose Petals, and the base is Madagascar vanilla and creamy cedar wood so that must be where i see the similarity is in that base and also the top note of juicy pear that also is a note that is in cloud i wish i had coffee beans so i could like refresh my palette and re-smell these but i really really do like this a lot. I'm not just saying that at all. I really genuinely do love this perfume. I was very drawn to the packaging of it because like I told you guys, I feel like it's very sleek. It's very adult, very mature. And I do really, really like the packaging. It's so different from everything else. We are not getting these little Epcot ball perfumes anymore. It is on to the next. <laughs> that is the fragrance description breakdown of this perfume. Now let me go over prices for you guys. I bought this one from Ulta. I got it in store as I told you but you can get it online and right now they're doing free shipping so that's actually really cool the 3.4 fluid ounce which is this one right here for $65 or you can get the 1.7 ounce for $55 oh damn 71 people have added this to their bag in the last two hours get that coin Ari I've mentioned this before but I do feel like Ariana's perfumes are very fair priced it's not the most expensive I've seen I've seen people try to sell a perfume like this for at least a hundred dollars and i feel like for the quality and like the experience you get buying an ariana grande perfume between the packaging and the smell itself i do think that it is not a bad price 65 dollars for this humongous bottle of perfume is a pretty good deal so yeah that is it for my fragrance unboxing on the brand new god is a woman by queen ariana grande you did it again girl this perfume is amazing and i am obsessed. I really cannot wait to wear this everywhere. I think that it smells divine. It is definitely God is a woman wrapped up into a bottle. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you going to be purchasing this? Have you already purchased it? If you have, what do you think? Let me know. I am dying to talk to you guys about it. But I do just have to make a quick note. It seems like Ari really misses the sweetener era between the last perfume being Rem. I think the last few perfumes have been sweetener era. And just the whole vibes I'm getting this year from the positions era, I just feel like it brings me back to sweetener era. So I don't know if her next album is going to be some sort of like sweetener 2.0. Before I go, here is this week's shout out of the week. Shout out to you, boo. And if you guys wanna be a shout out in a future video, just make sure you're following me and being active on my social media. And I will be choosing a random shout out for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.